everybody. Today we're going to talk about something fun, the SharePoint image field. This is a new field that came out in the middle of 2020. Before this, we just had the hyperlink field. In the UI, it's referred to the picture or hyperlink field. And that was a bit limited. What you would have to do is go to a different location in the SharePoint UI and upload a picture, get the link to that picture, and come back over to another location to your list to update the hyperlink to the file. It hasn't been a pleasant or easy to use user interface. So the new image field really solves a lot of challenges on that front. Now you can just upload an image directly into a SharePoint form, and then that'll give you a thumbnail which you can click on to get to the picture. So it's a really nice update. Today we're going to look at that, and I'm also going to show you some ways to make it a whole lot more awesome, and we'll do some working examples. So now, let's get SharePoint smart. So here I am in SharePoint Online, and I've already loaded my field. So right off the bat, here's the image field. There's nothing mysterious about it. If I uh, click on here, that's uh, the image it's linking to. Um, so let's cover some basics first. So what's the first thing you need to do for using the image field? Um, when you come into the UI and you click on Create Column, and you've got a lot of different uh, column types, and here's the new one, which is image. The old thing that we used to use was this hyperlink or picture. We don't like that. You do not want to use that for the image anymore. Okay, so you just pick that. Um, this will refresh the screen. You can just give a name to the field and add the field. And that's really all there is to it. Um, I've already got that added, so I'm not going to add another one. Okay. Once you add that, um, it will show. Uh, you can show it in your view um, as the thumbnail. In terms of working with that picture, um, it's quite easy. The column will show the very simple UI. Um, it'll just be whatever your field name is, the little uh, picture icon there. Um, you can just select the field, and when you go to edit, it just gives you a regular old file dialog. So I've already got some pictures here. I'm going to switch out a picture of um, some eggplants and I'll put in a picture of a Porsche and just hit save. It saves the picture so you don't any longer have to worry about where the picture is saved. SharePoint just takes care of that for you. Um, and then I can um, click on that and just take me to the picture. So already that's a whole lot better than what we had before. But we can do some cool stuff. Um, as you know from other videos, I do a lot with column formatting and I've got templates for that. So I'm going to show you how we can make this more awesome. Okay, so I'm going to provide links underneath the video for this. Um, we have a shadow box image where you can hover. So you kind of see a preview going for that. And then also, this is my uh, tool, SharePointDashboards.com. This is the dynamic version of that. Um, just to use the exact thing that I have in my video, you can go to my SharePoint Smart site. And I will also link to that um, if you don't um, uh, want to do the paid version of this tool right now. Um, so you can get that for free. But in any case, um, let's grab this code. And I'll show you what that gets us. So I'm just highlighting that. And it's just a simple copy paste. OK, so just like other formatting examples I've done, I'm just going to go to Format This Column. and. This is for SharePoint Online. And just hit Save. And you can see it did a quick update. All right, so what did that do? OK, well, the thumbnails look bigger, obviously. Um, what else? I can go and hover. Notice the hover is different. Um, it's a little bit smaller. Or we didn't have a hover before, actually. We had to click on it, right? Now I've got a hover. So that's kind of the main big thing it gives you. And um, I can still go and click on that. I've got it set up so it'll open the image. So 
pretty much that's going to be better than what we got out of the box every single time. I couldn't really think of a reason why you would not want to use what I just showed. Okay, so that's super important. If you're going to use this image column, for sure you'd like to put the column formatting on top of it 100% of the time. Okay, so that's just kind of showing you this in one site. Um, let me go to this dashboard tool and kind of explain what the dynamic option gives you. Um, this is a paid template, but um, just explain kind of uh, the benefits if you had something like this. One thing you can do with this is dynamically adjust the um, thumbnail width. It gives you a preview, and then um, you could adjust that um, in case you want to do this dynamically. Another thing might be the aspect ratio. So now I'm actually making some tweaks um, in the UI to kind of make things look different. I might want to control where the, um, where the card shows up on the right or left side, that type of thing. Um, I can control whether it's hover or click. Um, I control the, the uh, hover, excuse me, the border color, all that kind of stuff. This is kind of like a dynamic configuration tool where you can copy and paste out of that. But like I say, you can, if you want, you can just use the free one here that's not dynamic um, from the link below the video. Okay, well, let's just go on to the next part. And I have this tool I'm working on. I'm getting ready to do a uh, presentation about a reservation system. And so this is a real life example of how this uh, image field can really help us out a lot. So uh, this is a system where you can reserve different items. And in here I have images uh, for these vehicles I want to reserve. So we're going to load a few in here just to kind of get a real life example and see, you know, why this is great and we want to use this type of thing. So I've got three fancy sports cars I'm going to load in here. Okay, so I've got different categories. And this form is done through something called Ultimate Forms. Uh, it's a third-party add-in for uh, SharePoint. I use it all the time. Um, so if you're wondering how I have this view, it's with that software. If you have questions or want to know more about that, just uh, make a post below the video, and uh, I can help you. All right, but in any case, let's just go ahead and do our thing. All right, so let's add the Lambo. Okay, in this case, I've got a drag and drop if I want to, but I'll go ahead and browse to my desktop, and I'll pick the Lambo, <laughs> yellow Lambo, okay, and then I just hit save, and one thing that's really key about this is how fast and easy, I don't have to do lots and lots of clicks or anything, that was basically instantaneous, which is pretty unbelievable that you can get that, compared to what we had in the UI, and also notice the hover adjusted, like I'm at the bottom of the page, didn't get clipped, which is kind of cool. Normally it's on the side there, but it's smart enough to know I'm on the bottom of the web page. Um, so that's pretty slick. Okay, I've got two more I'm going to load. I just really want to emphasize and prove to you just how ridiculously fast and, and easy it is to use this image field now, which is a stark contrast to how it was before. Okay, so I got the Cybertruck. I don't know if that's one word or two. I'll just put it as two words. And let's load that. Boop. Load, boom, 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 there's the thumbnail. So like in this view, I can hardly even see what that is, but it doesn't really matter because when I come back out here, um, I can see it. Oh, it's alphabetical. There's the Cybertruck, I just loaded it. There's the preview. And just for kicks, I'll go into that edit form just to show you what that looks like. Isn't that cool? So I've actually got the larger version of the image there. All right, we got one more we're gonna do. Um, what was it? I did the Cybertruck, the Lambo. Let's do the Porsche. Okay, so. Do, 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 do. Okay, it's a vehicle. Porsche. Did I spell that right? Hopefully. Okay. And then, just picking my image open. There's the thumbnail. Save. All right, Porsche. There it is. All the way at the bottom. So you can tell these images are really nice. You know, the thumbnail's too small. We don't want just the thumbnail. And uh, the way it was out of the box, it had a link to the image, and maybe I don't want to see the giant image either. So this middle version of the image is really important, you know, because that's really the preview you want to see. It's too hard to see in the thumbnail size. 
and I don't necessarily need to go to the giant full image. Okay, so that's it. It really was just that easy to use the SharePoint image field. So it's really awesome. I love it, and it's definitely something you want to incorporate into all your solutions. All right, so uh, let's see. All right, so let's just talk about some things. Um, you want to stop using the picture slash hyperlink field. That's old school SharePoint. It's a pain to use. You had to go through extra steps. You have to load images into a different location. It's just not that great. It's, it's old. You really want to use this image column instead. Uh, this improves your functionality. And um, one thing you can do is experiment with the aspect ratio and the size and the thumbnail and the preview image. So that was something that's built into my formatting tool. There's awesome templates in here. Um, there's 41 templates as of the time of this video, and we're continuing to add them every week. Um, but um, if you have this kind of tool, you can kind of do some more dynamic things if you want to control more options with that. Um, and then other things about it, um, we want to be consistent. So if you're using images in a list like this, um, what you want to kind of try to avoid is different aspect ratios and things like that. I'll give you a quick example. Well, you're not looking at it. Okay. Um, basically, if you have a tall aspect ratio, then that's going to look kind of goofy if you have everything else wide. You want to adjust the image size before you load it. So don't take your ultra high resolution 9 meg pictures that are have a huge height and width and load those to SharePoint. You can do that, but you're not allowing the system to be efficient. Resize them down to an appropriate size before you load them, and that way they'll display in the user interface really quickly. Um, so that's about it. Um, it really is fast and easy to use. You should try it out, and especially make sure you apply column formatting on the top of it. I've linked it at the bottom of the video, so just bookmark that, and you're just going to want to do that every time because the out-of-the-box thumbnail function is pretty plain vanilla. It's just not that great. But the field itself is really cool. So just combine those two things together. Hope you like that. Hope you're going to be using that image field a lot. And if you've got other ideas about how to use the image field, uh, post it on the video. And we'll see you next time.